what kind of what were the paramount values in your family? Because I, I, you know, I know from read your book, <laughs> go to school. Yeah, yeah, what were the you got you got James Earl Jones in your house? Yep. What are your mom and dad saying? You know, drilling into you. You talk to any Nigerian, and they will tell you the first things first is academics, and it was important that you got your study in. I mean, we would sneak to watch TV and, you know, during the week and we'd run upstairs, my dad feeling the temperature of the TV to see if it was on, <laughs> you know, put it, you know. He's uh, not joking around. Oh, wasn't joking around. And we all, you know, hey, as soon as he comes home, I'm like, <laughs> I think back to it now, my dad had to have known. We all just ran upstairs and opened the book and like this, like, mm -hmm, we're reading, <laughs> but, that was that, and then I think it was the hard work that my parents modeled. I mean, my dad literally had a, a beeper pager on him and his one man, he was a one man wrecking crew as a plumber around Los Angeles. I drive around now and I complain, but I couldn't imagine my dad having to go from Burbank to South Los Angeles to Beverly Hills to Inglewood, back over to Sherman Oaks and just drive. Oh yeah. I mean, that's impossible. 24 hour, he had a 24 hour line where you call me anytime and I'll pop up. So my dad could come home for the night, 10 o'clock, boom, 2 a.m., an emergency call. So it was like my dad was kind of like an on-call doctor, but a plumber, you know what I mean? And he did that for years, years. My mom, hairstylist. Um, but they modeled that for us, what it means to have work. So I know nothing else but hard work. If you enjoyed this clip, we've got more where that came from. Be sure to check out my full conversation with Akbar Baja Biamila. And one of the best ways you can help support us is to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our interviews and short videos as they come out each week.